This week's theme is basically talking about one person who's been particularly influential in our lives related to our life change. It doesn't have to be the most influential person, but just somebody who's contributed to sort of the development of our uh, life goal. Right now we are headed to Milpitas, California, and then we have an awesome 10 hour drive to Portland, Oregon. In Portland we're going to be playing a house party at our friend Erica's house. We played at her house the past couple fall tours, and her friend Clay uh, always shows up. Clay, I believe, is in his 60s, and he enjoys, among other things, smoking salmon and making fancy meats and cheeses and bringing us fancy beer. In a way, he's kind of like Nate Bean, except 40 years later. The last time that we were in Portland, I ended up talking to Clay for a while. He started asking me about my life, and I mentioned that I was in a relationship, in a serious relationship for the first time in a long time, and just started talking to him about being in a relationship and being on the road and being apart from Lauren all the time and, you know, how that whole dynamic worked. He basically started telling me about his experiences, lifelong experiences, with love. He told me a few crucial things. One of the most important things he told me uh, was that when you find someone you want to be with and, you know, somebody who you can sort of integrate into your life without changing who you are and without changing who they are, at that point one of the best things you can do for yourself is to pursue that person and be with that person because it's sort of a special dynamic that really generally only comes once in a lifetime. And I remember these words really stuck with me. It might have been the fancy beer that was in my system at the time and there was a pretty good amount of it. I had, I guess, a greater sense of purpose having talked to somebody who was older who wasn't my dad. So like I said, we're going to be in Portland uh, tomorrow night after a very long drive and Clay is going to be there. I'm very excited to see him and I hopefully will be able to film a short little interview with Clay because he is a very interesting person to talk to. I think it's really important when we get into a relationship that we're not doing it for a particular reason. I think it's important that both people are already established in their life as who they are. They're secure with themselves. They're not looking for somebody other to, to fill a particular need. Um, and I think from there, uh, a lot of other things can develop.